Good afternoon, this is Dan Howe, PTI Securities and Futures for your daily wrap up for Thursday, August 24th. Very interesting day in the market here today. We once again had a 23 point range in the S&P overnight. Unfortunately, that's becoming kind of like the new normal overnight, having that big of a range in the S&P. Uh, the Asian markets were kind of mixed, even though a couple of them weren't pretty good. Um, and the European markets uh, started out up this morning. Um, our fundamental data before the opening, the jobs report came in a little bit worse, and the UK actually put a, something out about their retail sales, and it was just downright awful. So for those of us looking at the UK as an example for potential austerity, we need to start taking into account the fact that their, their economy is not liking the austerity budget. Uh, the other fundamental news of the day, the seven-year uh, note auction went off at another historic low, uh, 1.58. However, right before the opening today, uh, Berkshire Hathaway announced that they were buying a five, or, or taking a $5 billion stake in Bank of America. Uh, this was very good for the market. It, it raised the S&P right away. It, it raised uh, Bank of America significantly. And this is the same Bank of America that had made several claims in the last couple of months that they didn't need any capital, didn't need any capital. And I think they said again they didn't need any capital. Well, it appears that they need capital. They took $5 billion and are paying 6% to, to the preferred stock that Buffett's buying. Obviously a deal you and I cannot get involved in. Uh, right after the opening, oh, another interesting thing happened. As Germany experienced its version of the flash crash today and dropped 4% in, in the space of a few minutes, ruffling an awful lot of feathers over there in, in Europe because Germany is supposed to be the safe market. Uh, once again, the other markets have a ban on short selling and, and Germany reiterated the fact that they are not going to extend their ban on short selling. So uh, the, the selling, even though it, it didn't cross the pond in the size and the, front and the ferocity that the, that the uh, Germans experienced, but however, we did sell off further after that happened. At the end of the day, the SPX closed down 18 at 11.59. The Dow closed down 170 at 11.149. The NASDAQ closed down 29 at 21.09. Uh, the 10-year note uh, closed at a yield of 2.22, um, up 0.8 excuse me, down 0.8. Uh, the dollar closed at 74.21, a slight positive on the day. Silver had a nice day today, closed up at $1.91, close to 41, over $41. Gold started out negative and had an amazing reversal there today. Uh, the other story is the VIX. The VIX closed up four, closed just shy of 40 at 39.98. And a lot of that is due to the movement of the market to the downside. But the other thing is the big news of the week is uh, Ben Bernanke's speech tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock Chicago time out in Jackson Hole. This is the exact anniversary of last year's speech where he introduced QE2, and there's an awful lot of people expecting the Fed's going to do something in order to uh, pull a rabbit out of the hat to, to make everything all well again in the market, uh, which is, you know, actually putting a lot of, of, of uh, a lot of back into the options market because both the calls and the puts are pretty inflated. The, the ones that are expiring tomorrow are extremely high. Um, the rest of the news tomorrow, the GDP is coming out tomorrow, and also, um, you know, Ben Bernanke's speech, which is obviously the big thing. So uh, this has been Dan Howe, PTI Securities and Futures.